Hello YouTube. I thought I'd do a little installment on one of my favorite text adventure games for a old retro computer and that would be the text adventure game adventure. So let's fire up this old Altair 8800 clone here. Uh, here we go. Um, this machine is one of my earlier computing projects before I uh, designed the PE6502. This is a clone of the Briel computers. Um, I think it's called an, a Briel Micro or a Briel Altair Micro. Um, unfortunately, they don't sell them anymore. Um, uh, but that computer itself is a clone of the Altair 8800. Um, anyways, um, and one of the things that this uh, computer can play is the game Adventure, um, also known as Colossal Cave Adventure, and sometimes people just call it Advent, um, because I think the original game, that's how it was um, listed in a directory uh, listing. I think it may have even been packed in in some early versions of BSD um, before that. I mean, it began life on a PDP-10 mainframe computer. So originally in 1976, a guy named um, William Crowther, um, who himself was a cave explorer, um, he coded it. Uh, I guess he was getting a divorce from his wife and he missed his kids and he used to... Uh, he used to cave on the uh, bed quilt section of, um, gosh, I forget what it was called. I think it was just called Colossal Caves in Kentucky. And um, he was a uh, caver with his wife, uh, Patricia Crowther, who I think discovered like a connection um, from this um, this uh, matrix of caves to another well-known cave um, grouping. And uh, anyways, when they got divorced, and I think she was still caving with her new boyfriend, and it was just kind of a weird deal for him. So he sort of gave up um, caving at the same place, but he was one of the early um, developers of the ARPANET, which is kind of the grandfather of today's internet as we know it today. And on some of the computers that were at his work, um, PDP-10 mainframes, he coded this game. Um, in 1970, that was in 1976. In 1977, it was expanded by a guy named Don Woods. And this game became uh, the first of the genre of computer text adventure games. Um, really interesting. It's got a simple parser. Um, as being it's the first game. I mean, this parser is not as complex as the later um, developed parser in the game Zork, uh, which one of the guys that, uh, one of the four guys that made Zork was greatly inspired by this game. Uh, they wanted to make one just like it. So they had a more complex parser. This parser uh, can just take one or two words and for each word, it only reads five characters. Um, but within uh, those constraints, they managed to uh, make a heck of a game. They said um, in Tracy Kidder's Pulitzer winning book, The Soul of a New Machine, um, he said when this game came out, it sort of set the, the entire computer industry um, back a couple of weeks because everyone stopped doing useful work and just started playing this game. There's nothing uh, like it ever seen before. So I'm kind of cheating, um, and I printed out a maze, um, or a map, I should say, um, for this game. And I won't give too much of it away, but I just think it's really neat that you can, um, you can play the actual game. Um, you can get more information within the game, I think, by typing info. Let's actually, let's try that. Um, 
So let's do this. Let's go. We're starting out and we start out right next to this um, on a road right next to this well um, pump house. And so I'm going to go west to go into the pump house. Whoops. Maybe I need to go east. I went the wrong way. Um, okay. Incidentally, you can play this online. Um, there's an online version. Um, I'll add a couple of links to the description. Um, one of them to the Wikipedia write-up, which is pretty awesome. There's another really good page that pretty much covers all the history of this game um, and uh, includes on that page a link for playing this game online. Um, but let's see, let's just uh, take keys. Um, I don't know if people knew to uh, to computing. By that I mean, I mean a little younger than me. I don't know if you've ever played interactive fiction or a text adventure. Um, you you find items, you search for treasure. There's monsters, things that can kill you. Um, I is a uh, oops. I thought it was going to be an abbreviation for inventory. I'm not going to type in the whole word because it's only reading the first five letters. But inventory will show you what we're carrying. We need this brass lantern because it's going to provide light. We can, we'll grab the rest of the stuff uh, that's in this pump building later. Um, but let's yeah, let's get out of here. Uh, I think I need to go west to get out, right? Okay, and now I'm just going to go south. And if you want to figure out this whole thing, you should probably stop watching now because there'll be a few spoilers here as we're playing. Okay. I'm abbreviating S for South, D for Down, U for Up. Um, you can also do the, um, you can do all eight compass directions. So North, South, East, West, of course, but then like Southwest, Northeast, etc. cetera. Um, okay, so we're in, now we're, I'm just gonna keep going West here. And I'm going to just pick up some stuff that I find along the way, which will help me later on in the game. There's like a series of puzzles that you need to solve to get through it. Um, the game, this version of the game, has a possible 350 points. And you get points by finding treasure, but then also returning to that pump house where I initially grabbed the lamp and the keys. Um, and uh, and leaving, dropping the treasure there. That's how you get full credit for it. Um, so I'll show you, th this game is neat. It's interactive based on what you're carrying. I'm gonna go west here. Um, it's now pitch dark and um, it's dangerous unless I do something. I'm gonna light the lamp. So now I can make it further. I mean, it was, that's one of the very first puzzles from the game. If you don't take the lamp from the pump house, uh, you won't be able to proceed. Um, and then this is kind of cool. And, and this will just be the last sort of secret I'll give away from the game. And then I won't really uh, give any more away so you can play it yourself. But um, there's this magic word here. Um, I guess it, you would pronounce it Zizzy or I don't know. But if you just type in, um, X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Now we go back to the pump house, right? And so this is a shortcut that's taking us, um, see the pump house and then see on the map that dotted line, Z, Y, X, Y, Z, Z, Y, um, that's coming from uh, a different room inside this um, series of caves. I've also heard that this, um, the structure of this game um, 
it's one of the first of many that repeated that followed um, the same kind of structure where you basically start outside in the outside world and then the entire game is basically in a series of underground uh, dungeons or whatever or uh, caverns or an underground maze um, so anyways uh, that's it for me I'm gonna quit playing here show you how the LEDs update when you uh, when the computer is actually doing something all right and that's it all right kind of a quick little update here on one game uh, that's available for this old retro computer and uh, thank you for watching and tune in next time and we'll talk about something else that uh, I find neat and hopefully you find it neat too. All right, I'll talk to you later.